Denver is doing the migrant crisis. In fact, of the three sanctuary cities, New York, Chicago, Denver, Denver has the highest migrants per capita. Chicago, 50,000 migrants, 2.1 million people. Denver, 700,000 population with almost 50,000 migrants. So do the math here, and of course, Denver is now going to a recession. This is not great, considering that Denver is a major metropolitan area. Very nice downtown, very clean, and one of the bustling and hustling places of the post-pandemic world. People want to go to Denver because it's very, very nice. It's like a bigger version of a suburb. We also have like really nice downtown dense city vibes. You also have a great university, right? You got great healthcare. You got the Denver Botanic Gardens. It's a really pretty city overall, but now it's getting pretty bad. And so far, if you check out this, we're seeing a massive drop in terms of employment. This is not looking great. And one of the reasons why it's causing this massive decrease in employment is, of course, the migrant crisis. Denver is cutting some city employees' hours down to zero in order to support the migrants. I'm serious, guys. The city only has 700,000 people. It's not like a financial center at all. In fact, most of the big corporations in America are mostly located in the coastal cities. Denver is not. It's a smaller city, and Denver right now is buckling under the weight of the migrant crisis. It's so bad that they actually have to shut down shelters just to keep the city operational. Like, the migrants are going to have to sleep on the streets after that. So right now, the whole metropolitan sanctuary city thing is backfiring. Not to mention, you got the working class individuals who are living paycheck to paycheck in Denver are not happy at all when their hours get cut down to zero. And then if you look at what a lot of people are saying, is like Denver, 40,000 migrants. We think they only cost $1,000 a month for housing. If you just do some elementary math, that's half a billion dollars a year. Denver does not have half a billion dollars a year to spend on migrant housing alone. And even Elon Musk is saying the same exact thing. Check this out, we got Mayor Mike Johnston saying that they have not seen an increase in number of people living on the streets since changing their migrant policy. Guys, this is what downtown Denver looks like. You got tents everywhere, and do you think migrants wanna sleep in something like that? Absolutely not. This sucks for the residents, this sucks for the investors, and this really sucks for the migrants. I mean, at least New York and Chicago has some form of housing involved, right? But look at Denver. This is kind of like what it looks like now. This is what Denver looks like, just tents everywhere, right? You close down a bunch of migrant shelters to save 60 to $70 million, and this is what you get. This is what you get when you shut down these shelters, when you have 40,000 people, and you can't pay for anyone. You just have porter potties everywhere, tents everywhere. This is the new Denver. Now, do you think investors will be coming here to invest? Absolutely not. And people are still like, I don't know why Denver decided to be a sanctuary city. In fact, Lakewood residents are protesting. They don't want to be involved at all with this migrant crisis situation. If you look at Euroa, same exact thing. They don't want to deal with this. Nobody in the left, right, top, bottom of Denver want to be dealing with their migrant crisis. They all say the same thing. We're small cities. We're small suburban towns. We cannot handle like 5,000 migrants. We just can't. Denver, not really sure what's going on, but right now, they're kind of doing damage control. They started noticing that they're making everyone mad. The people who voted the current administration in power are basically seeing their money down the toilet. Taxpayer dollars are being wasted with nothing to show for is one thing, but when you start cutting city employee hours to zero, that's when people start getting up in arms with. And with Denver already kind of entering a recession type area where a lot of jobs are just disappearing and gone, plus the migrant situation, it's only going to get worse for Denver overall. This city isn't like super duper big either. Now, in my opinion, Denver is one of those cities where you could relax and leisure and do some good business. But like I said, it's 700,000 people, not super big in terms of big cities internationally, and they're going all out on the migrant crisis. They can't even spare five to $10 million on certain things in Denver. And the healthcare system is already going to bust. In fact, many of these hospitals in Denver are experiencing massive amounts of migrants coming in and emergency visits. They're so crowded and full, they gotta turn away local residents. 
this is a new Denver, and it's kind of bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Let's see what happens. And how do you guys feel about the current situation? Can you guys fix Denver? Let's see what happens.